Did I? Yeah. You didn't yourself? No, I didn't. You sure about Today that? Today is my girlfriend's birthday, though. Oh, yeah. Apefa. Alberta. That, yeah. Her first name is Alberta. She's hidden oh. it. Oh, Alberta. Okay. Apefa Mfujo. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Happy birthday to her. Yeah. She's a beautiful woman. She's 14 today. She just turned 14. Happy birthday to you, Pepe. Yeah, yesterday was my big sister's birthday. Oh, yeah. Na Kokwe Osei Puku of Lighthouse Chapel International. Yeah. She's a pastor. You know, my, Lady my pastor. My coming soon. Oh, when? You, you were born? March. Didn't you celebrate your birthday just recently? March 2022. Listen, oh, March, George. March. Ah, Listen, no, 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 no. By that, I would have celebrated my wife already. So, That's oh, yeah. right. My wife's birthday is actually Ghana's Independence Day. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'm a gun. <laughs> no, it's actually a fear gun. Yeah, yeah. So what's been happening in showbiz oh, this week? A lot has been happening. Tell uh, me about your it. Very good self. We'll yeah. get to that. I've been but in the begin. news. <laughs> the devil is let's begin with some news from last Saturday, where the first ever you know musicians union of Ghana, that's the Musica Presidential Debate, which was powered by Joy Entertainment, took place at the Labadi Beach Hotel. And George, you moderated that, you know, I did that show. Indeed, yeah. How was it? Was it fun? It was fun. It was um, quite interesting and revealing. And um, sometimes you are tempted to cross the line and become a panel member, <laughs> uh, lose your spot as the, you know, the, the one leading it. Because um, there are things you'd want to ask, but because of where you find yourself, yeah. you're unable to ask. Like today, I wish I weren't the one hosting this show, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the event featured all three presidential aspirants, namely uh, Henry Besser Simons, Deborah Freeman, and Russ Caleb Apia Levi, who battled with you know their thoughts, plans, ideas, and dreams in an attempt to convince delegates to throw their weight behind them in the January 2022 Musica elections. So we're going to play bits, you know, the policies they intend to act on should they be given the nod um, to lead Musica. Let's begin with Better Simons' manifesto. Digitization. Digitization. bits where Bessa says one musician one instrument yeah. just in case you know you're not you know making money yeah. from the yeah, uh, true, revenues true, true. on your streams you can do the church mm. and get yeah, some it's money. not a bad idea Brilliant. Philip Nye yeah, can carry drums around <laughs> 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 now let's listen to Deborah Freeman's manifesto right on my administration will prioritize uniting industry stakeholders and members
Madam Deborah Freeman there, the only woman, you know, battling for the presidential spot mm-hmm. of Yuziga with two men. But now let's listen to Ras Caleb Apia Levi. We will have a union or we... Positions won't be will become you know eagles but not chicken basically. Baba, we like chicken. <laughs> George. Anyway, but on daybreak hits uh, on hits one hundred three point nine FM with Andy Dusty. Some industry critics reacted to the manifesto. Uh, here is Prince the Don Chega. None of them are ready because one composure. We had Prince the Don Chega reacting to the individual manifestos of the three um, Musica presidential aspirants there. Away from that, the National Film Authority, that's the NFA, has announced a new brand name for the Ghana film industry. Now It's now known as the Black Star Films. Now, the new name was outdoored on Wednesday, uh, December 8th, at the Gold Coast Restaurant and Cocktail Bar. Juliet Ya Santo Asante. For us, as far as we are concerned, from today.
of the National Film Authority, Madame Juliette uh, Yassantoua Asante there. But following uh, the rebrand of the Ghana film industry to Black Star Films, there have been some you know, industry critics that have kicked against the decision. Notable amongst them is our very own George Kwe, who has actually petitioned the Minister for Creative Arts, Honorable Mohamed Awal, to take a second look at that decision. So I have excerpt of that petition right here with me. I'll quickly read through it, the salient bits. So it reads, the Ghana film industry was on Wednesday, December 8th, uh, renamed Black Star Films, a name that conflicts with an award festival bearing nearly the same name and owned by the Executive Secretary of the National Film Authority, Juliet Yasanto Asante. In 2015, Juliet Asante established the Black Star International Film Festival as a private non-profit festival designed to bridge the gap between African movie cinema and the global community of movie makers and focuses on the business aspect of film making. Renaming the Ghanaian film industry, which never needed any rename in the first place after the BSIFF creates a conflict of interest and ethically questionable situation that guarantees the Black Star International Film Festival becomes a national asset owned by one individual and funded by the state, the taxpayers' money. This is wrong and must be condemned by all we, uh, I beg your pardon, all well meaning industry players with all the contempt it deserves. And so I'm going to end uh, the reading here, but basically he is kicking against it and wants to also encourage other industry critics to take a second look as well as the minister as well uh but madame juliet on city uh tv reacted to george's petition i have the voice let's quickly listen you know the That was Madame Julieta Santos' reaction to George's petition, and apparently the minister himself even voted for Black Star Film. Well, I would have asked George to quickly react to Madame Juliet, but the story is a major topic up for discussion today on the show, so you should stick and stay and, you know, anticipate George's reaction. I hear it's quite hot. But uh, Madame Juliet isn't the only one reacting to George's petition. The Honorable Deputy Minister 
for arts and tourism. Uh, Honorable Marco Kwekumati has also reacted to uh, George's petition. And he did on Facebook. I've got excerpts of that post right here with me. I'd quickly read through it. It reads, the Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture, led by Honorable Dr. Awal Mohammed, has taken note of the growing concerns among some industry players over the selection of a brand name, a brand new name for Ghana's film industry. On Wednesday, December 8th, 2021, the National Film Authority, through committee selection and later public voting, settled on the name Black Star Films. I am aware the outcome has divided opinions within the industry with calls for a review of the selection. I want to assure the sector that the matter is before the able Honorable Dr. Awal Mohammed, and as a listening government, the matter will be resolved. Let's all remain calm as we look forward to an engagement with the National Film Authority and all concerned stakeholders in the coming days. Thank you. So that was the reaction uh. of the Honorable Deputy uh, Minister mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. Arts and Tourism. George, you're smiling. What's up? Oh, no, no. I'm just waiting for the main uh, dish. <laughs> okay. yeah. that, that's it for the week? No, that's not it. Uh, let's I, uh, do R2Bs. Oh, my guys. Um, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> they claim they don't need the media to survive or thrive as musicians. Now, they spoke in an interview with Andy Dossi on Daybreak Hits, where one half of the group, Omar Sterling, uh, you also know him as Payday, uh, mentioned that they've been able to make their group a strong force and brand that can thrive without the help of the media. Listen. You know, just like you do challenge us, the media sometimes bash, not even challenge, bash artists. I right? do this thing for the girls. Okay. And for Ghana as a whole. Mm. Boys in the dorm, uh, you know, I know, I mean, my crowd, I'm going to say, man, in tea. Yeah, hustle, I hustle, you know, I say, man, in tea. Speaking of girls. I think when you put, like, your words into melodies, like, it, people kind of gravitate to it more than, you know, any form of music as to talking or something like that. So I chose to do, like, the singing. Right, I see. Yeah. But the best on the scene. I do this thing for the girls. Okay. And for Ghana as a whole. Mm. Boys in the dorm. Uh, you know, I know. I mean, my crowd. I for my crowd. I say man in tea. <laughs> yeah, hustle. I hustle. I say man in tea. Speak, speaking but, of girls. I think when you put like your words into melodies, like it, people kind of gravitate to it more than, you know, any form of music as to talking or something like that. So I chose to do like the singing. Right, I see. Yeah. But the best on the scene. I do this thing for the girls. Okay. And for Ghana as a whole. Mm. Boys in the dorm. Uh, you know, I know. I mean, my crowd. I have my hair burning. I say man in tea. <laughs> yeah, hustle. I hustle. You know, I say man in tea. Speak, speaking but, of girls. I think when you put like your words into melodies, like it, people kind of gravitate to it more than, you know, any form of music as to talking or something like that. So I chose to do like the singing. Right, so, I see. Yeah. But the best on the scene. I do this thing for the girls. Okay. And for Ghana as a whole. Mm. Boys in the dorm. Uh, you know, I know. I mean, my crowd. I say man in tea. <laughs> yeah, hustle. I hustle. I say man in tea. Speak, speaking but, of girls. I think when you put like your words into melodies, like it, it, so people. You heard from Omar Sterling, uh, Payday on how they don't necessarily need the media yeah. uh, to thrive as musicians. George, what do yeah. you think? Even me, I don't need the media. Me, me, I don't need the but media. Huh? You don't need it? No, no, no. But I want you to react to what Oh, to what they said. Yeah. I mean, it's look, it's it's an opinion. And mm -hmm. look, one thing about our 2 bs um, I don't know exactly what they mean when they say they don't need the media because it's an argument that's been going on for a while. With the advent of social media, which aspect of the media are they referring to? Mm -hmm. Because when you say you don't need the media and you make it a blanket like that. Obviously, I think the traditional media. Exactly. Yeah. I think so. And with a, that's what I'm saying. Social media is direct competition to traditional media. And a lot of people are doing very well on social media. Mm. So they could say that we don't need traditional media. Right. And they could be right. Mm. Could be. Yeah. Again, it's, it could be in quotes. You understand? Also because it become very... Look, there's so many. In Accra alone, we have over 50 radio stations. How do you know who's listening to what at which time? Mm -hmm. But social media is more personal. And if people really want to follow you, they know exactly where to go to. 
But when you compare it to traditional media, when you come to say radio, how do I know that when I go to Hits FM in the morning, I'll get an R2B song mm -hmm. or Joy FM or Adum FM or Nishra FM or Senpai FM mm -hmm. or where? Where will I get an R2B song if I want to listen to it at 8 a.m.? Mm -hmm. But if I go on social media, I can go directly mm -hmm. to Boomplay, to Afton, to um, um, Apple Music, to YouTube or wherever, and I'll have them there. Yeah. So maybe they could have a point if they are referring to traditional media. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's, that's the argument. And at the panel tongue, if it is good enough, wherever you put it, those that really want it will come for it. Sounds good to you, Soraya. Yeah, I think I agree with George. Um, and, and even I'll say in a little deeper, George is right when he says about traditional media versus social media. But I even think that maybe Payday was referring to this further traditional space that we have in which mm. we had the system in which the DJs and the presenters mm -hmm. were the only source yeah, of your music. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think now if you take your time and you promote, we've had incidents where you've promoted songs in just the bars and they become a hit right. and has forced the radio stations to play them mm. because n whenever they go anywhere, they're hearing these songs. Mm. Same thing with social media and um, online streaming platforms. Sometimes, look, one of, you can have a hit, just hit in the wedding music space. Right. Like every wedding event you go to, it's a big song and then all of a sudden it forces the other Everyone's media good. forms to join in. So I think he he didn't mean necessarily all media, but I think he meant in the traditional space in which he sat right now mm -hmm. of him versus Andy, uh, uh, you know, a personality like Andy or a radio DJ or, you know, a, 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 a traditional music promoter. Right. And I think it's a big question that um, needs to be answered. This He's not the first person in the last few weeks to have had this conversation and it seems that the trend is going on, and uh, I think it, it's it's a, it's a conversation of both sides. How mm -hmm. much does each party need each other, mm -hmm. and is th are the dynamics changing? Mm -hmm. Because back in the day, if you were not on radio or on TV, you were not a success. Are the dynamics changing? Right. I guess, George, that's a question that's we a have question to That's a question we need to explore. We need to yeah. tackle. Yeah. yeah. All right. Totally agree. Thank you. Well, let me wrap up uh, with what's trending on social media. A lot of sports related stuff uh trending alonso is trending um manchester city player uh grealish is also trending yeah. i don't know why a city you check it uh, out. one <laughs> they they beat um 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 i think the wolves by a goal to nil oh i see yeah yeah oh, I yeah see. i mean they 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 are in good form yeah. they are in good form Jimenez, yeah. mendy chelsea oh, a lot of sports related stuff a trending guys you should check it out for yourself but that'd be all for showbiz this week i'm noella carinelli thank you very much that is it for showbiz this week when we come back the conversation begins right here on showbiz a to z on j